Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel DevOps Codex. In this video, I am going to share my experience with uh, uh, Paytm, which I attended the interview in uh, last week. So this was my second round of interview for senior DevOps profile. I shared, I have shared my first round of experience in my previous videos. Okay, so I thought uh, I should share whatever questions I have collected from this interview, which is asked by the interviewer. So might be, it will be the helpful for you guys, if you are looking for a job or if you are preparing for DevOps engineering profiles. One more thing I have noticed, uh, I still there is some opening for a DevOps engineer with the Paytm. You can see here, they are hiring for DevOps engineer for a data role and they are looking the skill set uh, along with the devops skill set uh, some uh, data related tools like hadoop kafka emr okay spark hive if you have experience okay and uh, they are looking for some aws experience like ec2 load balancer cloud front elastic cache evs iam cloud watch auto scaling lambda these skill set they are looking along with this understanding of open open source server software such as tomcat hbash kafka mysql redis and elastic search and uh, uh, very good experience should be in uh, ansible uh, terraform cloud formation uh, for uh, infra automation and has hands on experience in kubernetes like eks docker or ecs kind of things and uh, should have experience in cell scripting python and powershell along with this they are looking for uh, ci cd pipeline uh, uh, tools like uh, jenkins uh, confluence zira git maven docker and uh, apart from this you can see here they are looking for a basic understanding of uh, network topologies and common network protocols services like dns http ssh sftp smtp these kind of things and uh, uh, you can see good problem solving and uh, troubleshooting skill set and they are looking and by default OS should be there like uh, a very good uh, knowledge of understand uh, administering and troubleshooting of linux based operating systems and os are open to okay so these kind of uh, skill set they are looking and one more positions are there like uh, DevOps principal engineer, it is uh, like more senior uh, 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 profile. I think it it will be the equivalent of uh, lead kind of. Okay, they are looking for nine plus years of experience and same kind of skills that they are looking. Okay, but but experience is more. Okay, so let's start. Like what kind of uh, questions they ask? In first round, whatever questions they ask, I have explained properly but uh, let's touch the second round of interview uh, what are the questions they cover first of all they asked me like what kind of uh, ci cd tool you have like um, so then i explained like i have experience in jenkins bitbucket and uh, github uh, workflows so they ask like uh, uh, jenkins integration uh, uh, with the uh, shonar queue build tool and ansible how you will integrate these tools with jenkins and how you will do the deployment okay they're given some scenarios like uh, how you are checking the uh, quality uh, code quality and uh, uh, how you are making the build of your application okay so they given some scenarios like uh, if java based applications are there what kind of uh, build tool you will use and what are the build steps will be there and where you are storing the artifacts okay and uh, before uh, before deploying those things how you are preparing the configuration of your servers okay so so i leverage the uh, use case of ansible for the configuration management and creating the uh, docker files and other things on top of that how i deployed the artifacts those things uh, i have explained and next question was uh, related to cloud deployment with ansible okay with the help of ansible how how you can deploy and manage the cloud uh, a cloud environment okay with the help of ansible and uh, the basic question was like ansible ssh key and uh, architecture diagram like how how the ssh key is working and how you are making 
master and uh, node configuration and connectivity and uh, which which protocol it is using like push mechanism or pull mechanism what kind of uh, things it is using okay and whatever answer i was providing they were uh, asking the cross questions based on my answer so uh, uh, next question was like uh, uh, writing the ansible rules and playbooks designed for the mysql deployment suppose uh, we have mysql servers okay and we want to we want to uh, execute some queries or uh, uh, perform some update or uh, alter kind of uh, command okay sql queries how you will do that in this kind of deployments with the help of ansible okay so so such kind of uh, things they ask and next question was the related to jenkins user man management like uh, uh, how you are managing the uh, jenkins user suppose you have 10 members of the team okay how how you are uh, how and uh, what kind of access you are providing to your team members or developers or qa team okay and uh, um, how you are creating the roles based on the different different team members okay so i explain those thing and then next questions they ask related to uh, cdn okay cloud front and uh, they given such scenario like how cloud front reduce the latency in ptm if uh, we are trying to use the ptm uh, uh, if we are trying to use the uh, like uh, uh, cdn okay as we know cdn is the content delivery network network uh we have uh, different different edge locations first time if user is hitting from different uh, location it will be shot from the origin and stored in uh, our edge locations and when second user will be hit from same locations it will be it will not come request will not come to our origin directly it will be shot from the edge location itself so in this way we can we can reduce the latency and we can set the time limit like for how many hours or how many days you can um, uh, cache your data okay so uh, most of the cases uh, their question was like uh, uh, static content how we can solve the static content and uh, cache the static contents with the help of cdns okay and uh, next question they ask like uh, with the help of uh, we are, we are uh, we have deployed our application uh, on ecs container okay and uh, uh, on front end we 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 are using like uh, api gateway okay how you will de debug the rest apis error like 404 and 503 okay if client side error is coming or server side error is coming how you are debugging uh, how how you, how is your approach to debug such kind of things actually they are not expecting to give the exact answer whatever uh, uh, error code or uh, uh, issue are coming they are trying to understand what should be your approach okay like same approach we are following for different different uh, uh, troubleshooting scenarios okay next question was like uh, related to web servers okay if any uh, uh, web server is there okay java based applications are there or php or uh, some uh, other kind of applications are there what kind of web server you will use which scenario you will use which one okay uh, tomcat and apache integration kind of things okay apache is also a web server nginx is also a web server tomcat is also a uh, web server where we are uh, deploying our java based applications okay so so how how you how you will choose which kind of application will be so what kind of uh, use cases okay so next uh, uh, section they ask related to uh they wanted to touch the python skill set okay and they they wanted to judge my python scripting uh, uh skill set okay so they ask like using the python to interact with the containerization platform docker and kubernetes how you will do that okay and uh, as i mentioned like uh, i have experience in python and uh, cell scripting so they they started asking like uh, what kind of libraries you use for containerization and orchestration to 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 cross check like whether i worked on uh, uh, python or not okay and uh, next question was related to uh, python only like automating the container deployment and uh, management with the help of uh, 
Python. And uh, one more scenario they given to me, like uh, suppose we have uh, S3 bucket and uh, 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 could you please write uh, the Python script to interact with S3 and upload the object in S3 and update the bucket policy uh, in JSON format. Okay, so 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 that was the uh, uh, coding coding task that they give in and uh, next section they touch the security kind of things like uh, AWS WAP okay explain the concept of uh, web ACL um, in AWS WAP and how it is used to manage the security policies because uh, for each and every application we are creating the multiple uh, web ACLs and uh, inside the web ACLs we are creating the uh, different different kind of rules and based on the application nature we are customizing the rules some uh, aws managed rules we are using and we are using some uh, some custom based application uh, 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 rules okay where uh, we can uh, we can uh, whitelist or block or uh, 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 write such kind of rules so that uh, we can prevent from our uh, uh, malicious activities okay and uh, some basic questions they ask like uh, uh, what layer of OSI model does uh, AWS WAP operate on um, and uh, uh, what are uh, on top of what are the services you can put uh, the WAP roles okay so it works on application layer and uh, like elastic load balancer API gateway uh, elastic IPs uh, uh, on top of lambda we can we can put the uh, we can put the WAP okay and uh, next they discuss like uh, the concept of uh, rate based uh, rules and when uh, when to use uh, them in aws WAP. okay suppose so uh, some malicious activities are keep on coming with the same ip we can put the rate limiting on that uh, uh, that api gateway level or uh, WAF level so that uh, within a second or within a minute we can we can receive that number of uh, 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 request so that we can prevent our applications from throttling or something okay and next question they ask related to some um, Athena related thing was there okay do you have any experience with uh, quick site actually in my I resume I have mentioned like uh, creating the kudos dashboard and uh, setting up the things and providing the access of quick site to the de developers okay so so uh, they started asking what is the kudos dashboard and uh, how you are using this kudos dashboard kudos dashboard is like a cloud intelligence kind of dashboard okay cost uh, uses and uh, um, kind of dashboard where uh, uh, we are uh, providing clear uh, uh, one one dashboard we are creating on top of quicksight quicksight is nothing but it is a visual visualized tool similar like uh, um, uh, uh, similar like uh, uh, some analytics tool uh, I'm not able to recall right now okay but but similar like uh, 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 we are using power bi okay the, the, this is this this kind of tool it is okay this this is the AWS managed tool and uh, from where it is fetching data it is fetching data from uh, our Athena and Athena is uh, creating table on top of uh, s3 buckets okay so what we are doing we are you we are storing our uh, uh, cost and uses uh, 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 like logs in s3 bucket on top of that we are creating the dashboard so that every time no need to go in athena and run the queries oh this ec2 instance how much cost we got charged or something like that those things we can monitor with the help of kudo cid dashboards okay so these are the questions they ask okay i hope this will help you guys to uh, prepare your interview if you are preparing for uh, paytm okay this is the this was the round two i hope uh, uh, you guys like this okay and uh, i have completed the two rounds uh, next third round will be there let's see what will happen okay uh, thank you guys thank you so much have a good day bye bye